Leo's welcome. This is your end of December 2021 heart spread read. A love, romance, and relationship read. This week, we're reading for the one you just can't get out of your head. That one that you just can't get off your mind. Uh, so keep that in mind as we read. Because um, normally with the heart spread we're reading, I read the one who's on your mind. I read you and the other. And here we have a you showing up as the Knight of Wands. This is your energy in and around love and relationships. Uh, note the volcano. <laughs> it's the Gilded Tarot Royale deck. So uh, that's great energy. <laughs> um, it can definitely be you feeling quite frisky. I tried to read this as you separate a little bit from your person or any relationship just kind of your energy where are you at and you people say well i know where i'm at <laughs> so but it helps me get a, a feel for the flow of what's going on and maybe helps you uh, think if you resonate with it out of the shoot you don't have to waste time but if not check out the rising readings it's going to be important for leo rising i'll be doing that today along with uh no, tomorrow, do the Leo. So, but that's a year read. So, um, I mean, I like it for Leo. It shows you really coming in hot, you know. Um, and now, the thing is, you're meeting an Aries. I mean, I just think about it, this just got to be an Aries here. So, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever, Aries dominant personality. So, there's a lot of fireworks. Here's some complex reading, though. Now, this card is number three, and that shows your energy, just how you're feeling about them. That's all. How are, how are they really impressing you? Again, you might say, well, I know, I know how they're impressing me, Dave. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to really get a feel for what's going on. Um, I, on the one hand, it's not about male or female either, but I, I like the fact that someone makes you feel like a king. Um, so it, on the good side, however this shakes out, um, they're not putting you down, you know, not bringing you down. They're not putting you down, you know? Um, so, but on the other hand, it shows you a kind of either taking control or uh, expressing some kind of dominance. Um, with this energy, it's kind of a no nonsense energy to take with your person. Like, uh, you're just telling them straight up your story. You're telling them about your boundaries. And uh, you, with the king of swords, uh, you could even be giving ultimatums, you know, in relationship here. Or coming across with energy like that. You know, they're being kind of submissive. It's got this Sagittarius energy here with the temperance card. Um... um but they're being kind of content, you know. It's like I, I get the feeling that you're kind of telling them kind of what the score is and how the relationship is going to go. Um, and you would think that with Daenerys, you're, you're going to really butt heads. Uh, but they seem to be, to me, you know, I get the sense, if they're reacting to you with temperance, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm a Sag, but... It's a great energy. If someone makes you feel that you're in this energy where you don't... Because there's no red flags with temp. That's why it's patient. There's no red flags. There's no problems. You're not all worried. There's no, oh my God, when's the next shoe going to drop? You're just flowing. And, right, it's cool. That's like the highest vibe of a sad, you know, where things, a lot of people say, well, guys, sad just a pretty laid back. See, even the Mexican Ravens agree with me. <laughs> that it's true um, so it's like I gotta get the feeling like they're ready to take a back seat to you you know I mean look what you got you know you got the emperor and you're coming in with the knight of wands but it's like you kind of conquered the emperor thing about the emperor and the empress you know um, nobody's gonna get to them and hurt them but they got a heart right and also, you know, you, you got to them. Like, I think, like, you could say, well, the way, I'm not saying this is a man, or this could be a man or a woman, but that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, it's also through passion, and I think that's what you brought. Like, um, honestly, this Knight of Wands 
is the energy of, of going in and sweeping someone off their feet. And imagine you swept the emperor off their feet. You did that in the bedroom, okay? In privacy, I mean, you're, you're not gonna go with the army and sweep the emperor off their feet. So, and the, they love it. <laughs> they love it. And there's a, I just kind of get, it doesn't necessarily have to be like the shades of gray, but there's a submissiveness to you. Like they might be submissive in love. Like you just melt him and they're just like, okay, you know, I'm kind of like that. I love someone, you know, shh, never tell people that, you know? But yeah, so now this is very interesting because this is your advice from spirit for how to deal with them in the relationship. I consider this to be one of the most important cards here. And this is their advice for you in the relationship similarly because these two cards are advice from spirit and now this card is the advice for the relationship as a whole hello <laughs> so both of you the hermit and the knight of swords are looking at this two of wands two of wands are an action right it is a stay or go kind of energy you know it's a do or don't do kind of energy it's not a choice like a or b like them or you or no uh so and this is this is the advice for you guys as a relationship and i think with the knight of swords here being the advice for your person i'd love for this to be shared if you resonate with your person to help you know maybe help things so it's i think spirit's asking them to be like you come in with the knight of wands it's asking, they're being asked to meet your energy and not be so submissive. And I really don't, I hate to even use the word submissive, but, but, but be more active. You know, Mars is always knights, are always Mars, Mars is always action, Mars is always asserting the self. And this is verbally, and it's look at the colors and everything. This is you reacting to them. This is the suggestion for the universe. So Crosswatcher, you know, it's, you know, it's like, your Leo wants you to kind of uh, push back a little bit and um, assert yourself, okay, uh, verbally. Now, this is not like abuse or anything like that. No, it's just, you know, this could be like, you know, where do you, you know, the Le you, you say to your person, Leo, uh, what are we going to do tonight? And they say, I don't know. Well, where do you want to go? I don't know where do you want to go. It could just simply be you saying uh, to the Leo, honey. Get yourself dressed up pretty, our dude, you know, <laughs> fix it up. I'm going to take you out somewhere nice. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you when we get there, you're going to love it. You know, uh, just kind of that kind of energy. I see a real relationship here, by the way. It's complex, you know, it's obviously soul work and everything. And, and you guys are kind of working around each other. And so really see your advice is about how to grow in the relationship, make it stronger and stronger. And, you know, um, for you, um, this hermit towards them is, this is very much about, the hermit points his finger at himself only so that he wants to know himself. He doesn't give really a shit about you. He wants to know why does he do this? Why does he think this? What's going on? What the hell? He takes this light and he goes into the darkest places and he wants to see what the hell is in there. So this is your advice. It's like you're this. The thing about the King of Swords, I don't know if you heard it in my boy. I don't really like it a lot here or here. You know, it's, I can understand it here. It's great here as an outcome. It's good here, but it kind of implies a little bit of a bristling kind of energy. It's not really conducive to merging. And now I gotta be honest. You know, yeah, you know, uh, love probably too soft. You know, and, and probably. In terms of love, you know, it's like I, I, I don't like the bristle, you know, be the Scorpio, you want, want to merge and everything. So I am I'm hope I'm not projecting, but I got to think with the Hermit card, you're being asked to look at yourself, being asked to go inward. And I think that's to realize that you have this relationship here. And because you guys are being asked to, to make a decision here, are you going to go on this journey together? I was going to clarify this. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's really about are we gonna are you gonna go on this journey together or not you know, and to be honest with you, I, I get this is the overall energy. I bring it up now, so you know you 
Um, you've got the uh, Five of Cups. Uh, so this is the overall energy for both of you. I think like both of you are kind of coming, uh, not like a lot, but somewhat from this lack mentality because of things in the past. So when you make this decision to go forward now, it has to be with a real feeling, I think. I think that's the trick, you know. It can't. Sometimes we just have to tell ourselves, but really feeling like, damn, we know we're going to do this together. Let's do this thing together. You know, I've thought about it, and I'm good, and I've realized, you know, where my projections are, ready to move forward. And your person kind of uh, steps up to the plate, and it's just kind of be putting, really putting themselves into it too, and being honest. And you know, um, this is your person. They very really advise you know, step up to the plate. You know, make the decision to take this journey together. And the Nine of Pentacles is a wonderful outcome. It's it's not about anybody being you know the happy bachelor. In this, in here, in this position, okay. Um, this is about the relationship, though. You're going to be stepping into a relationship where you both have a lot of independence. I mean, it, it just could mean that we're going into a relationship here this end of December time frame uh, where it's going to be like a boyfriend and girlfriend, however, whatever that means. Maybe it's not a move-in relationship where you're, uh, you know, just enmeshing it up. Remember, I was talking about the boundaries and stuff like it's not about uh, moving real quick and getting it all enmeshed, you know, um, in that kind of energy. And so it's with the with the hermit under the king of swords, it's you kind of understanding why you're putting up such strong boundaries. It doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. It's just about kind of understanding what's going on, you know, um, and how you're, with this, it's like decide, do you want to carry this forward? What are you going to do together? Like, you might decide, for instance, as an example, with this person that you that you don't need the boundary that you thought you need, and and down the road, so you want to move in and get married, you know, um, and they may find they, they may feel with this five of um, cups being on the bottom of the deck um, that they have a hard time asserting themselves because they really fear rejection. You know, it's a. Uh, Five of Cups can be like abandonment issues too. And that could be going on on a lot of levels. So we already have abandonment issues. And then, you know, it's arguable whether we a, adult can really be abandoned unless, I don't know, like you're a soldier or you're on a hike together or something. Uh, but, you know, it certainly makes it more, you know, painful and more obvious when it happens. Maybe harder to deal with too. Um, so I like this as an outcome for you. It, this is a very, say, complex reading. Um, it's showing a, a process that's kind of ongoing. Um, so you guys might already be moving into this relationship. But I see also the Nine of Pentacles is that you have a solid relationship. It's a, you know, we're in love. Uh, we're together. We're getting to know each other. And, I'm, you know, there's a commitment, each one to the other. And it's really like, I got to tell you, it's a little corny, but this relationship is each one also loving themselves, also committing to yourself. So Leo and probably your Aries person here, um, you guys are doing this in a very uh, ho holistic, uh, mature way. There, there's no toxicity. There's, uh, you know, um, no codependency kind of stuff going on at all. You guys are coming in like clean as a whistle into this relationship so i love this reading really one has one of the best feelings uh, done for a long time um and this is the one you can't get off your mind so this is not the unattainable one it's kind of been a theme and here we are with leo finally and i think like this is uh something really coming together i mean i guess this one you know you can't get them out of your head because you know they're supposed to be there and uh, maybe it's just taking you some time to figure that out, go inside and go, wow, that's why um, I can't get them out of my head because uh, I really do love them. So let me know what you think, Leo. I appreciate your likes help a lot. Love uh, if you give a comment. Do check out the Leo Rising read. It'll be coming out tomorrow, end of the year read. Love to hear what you have to say about that, bring in some astrology a little more. And please do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.